The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to perform a randomized correlation in SPSS. The example that I'm going to show first is the male-female data relevant to their preferences in a mate. And you may recall that there were 13 characteristics described in the textbook with respect to the rankings that males provided for those 13 characteristics, and females did the same thing. And the textbook demonstrated that there was an association that was positive between the characteristics that males and females preferred. And so in the first instance, I'm going to simply do a Pearson correlation between the two. So I'm going to go into Analyze Correlate by Variate, and a Pearson correlation appears. And the correlation is very big, 0 0.036. And the p-value is also quite substantial, even though the sample size, quote-unquote sample size, is not very big. So here's the p-value, p equal 0 0.00037. Now I mentioned in a textbook that we can't really trust this p-value because this p-value is mostly, well, is essentially theoretically based on the notion of random sampling. And random sampling is not something that's taken place here in the sense that the traits that were selected actually form the basis of the cases. So there are actually only 13 cases in this data file, not the hundreds of people that actually provided the ratings across males and females. And so we need to do a randomization, or we should consider doing a randomized test in this case. And here's the syntax I used, which is from the Hayes publication. Once you have the syntax into a, a syntax file in SPSS, the main things you got to modify are the maximum number of loops, which is 5,000. And then you need to specify where the data file is in the directory. So we've got in the D drive, and I just have it there right at the beginning of the directory. So it's in the D drive, and it's sitting right there. Then we have to specify the independent and dependent variables, which in this case are male and female. Then I have to specify the variables again, male, female, in this line. And then finally, I'm specifying the number of permutations. A permutation test and a randomization test are often used synonymously. So n perm 5000. And that should be it. You should be ready to go. And so I click on Run. And output is produced. It does take a little bit of time to produce it. OK, so the randomization test produced the plain ordinary correlation again from the normal theory estimation approach. And then we actually get the results here. And we can see that the number of permutations requested was equal to 5,000. The obtained correlation is 0.835, which is the same correlation you would get from SPSS up here, 0.836, rounded. It's the same thing here. And here's the important piece of information that's giving you the p-value. This p-value here is not necessarily easy to interpret. But if you sum these two p-values here, these are p-values, if you sum 0 0.004, and 0 0.0000, you get what the actual p-value here is with respect to the conventional way to reporting it. And so in this case, I reported the p-value as equal to 0 0.004, and therefore I rejected the null hypothesis of no association between male-ranked preferences and female-ranked preferences. The correlation is very large, and it's very unlikely to have occurred simply by chance under the expectation that the null hypothesis is true. Now, the program also spits out all of the randomized correlations that were estimated. You may not be interested in that. I think from an educational perspective, it is. And then there's a histogram of the randomized correlations that were produced. And you can see that the mean was 0, and the standard deviation is 0.289. And the correlation of 0.836 is somewhere about here. So it's really at the extreme end of the distribution, which makes it an unlikely observation if the null hypothesis is true. So all these correlations are null hypothesis correlations because the data have been scrambled in such a way to essentially get no correlation, which happened on average. And so the observed correlation is really an unlikely event to have occurred, and therefore we rejected the null hypothesis. So that's how you can conduct a randomized correlation in SPSS.